What's up guys? Today we're here. We've got the XP Turbo in the driveway and we're gonna be installing some Kemimoto new style door bags that are actually waterproof and everything and we're gonna be going through the whole deal with them and kind of doing a full comparison on these door bags which are just the regular uh i don't even know what kind of material that is anyway so we'll kind of show you the differences and uh do the install on the new ones and then uh yeah that'll pretty much be the video we're going to test the waterproofness of the new ones and let you guys know what kind of product you're buying if you buy either these or the other ones which i already have a have an install and full review of these you can check it out on the channel but uh yeah we're gonna get right into the new one alrighty guys so here's the new door bags as you can see you an installation tip and some lubricant for the zipper okay so that's cool pull one of these out of here as you can see pretty well same deal here uh, sorry, just pulling this other one out so you can see the back. We have the Velcro again, which is awesome. Oh, that's nice. I don't know if you can see that, but like, that's like seamless on there. That's really nice. So apparently these are made out of TPU, which is like a kind of a type of rubbery plastic, flexible, basically like a flexible plastic. Yeah, right off the bat here, we can see we've got a full zipper cover this time. And that is one hefty zipper. Let me see if I can even... Oh, it's a tough zipper. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to oil that zipper. But anyway, I like this one piece um, pocket on the front instead of there's a split in the other one. And uh, yeah, I'm liking the look of these. I'm liking the sturdiness. You've got a uh, pretty sturdy piece there. Like they just feel thick and like good quality. And you've got like a nice seam on the edge there. You still have a nice beer holder here on the side where you can shove a can in there. Um, and that Velcro's right up nice. These are gonna be awesome to clean, I think, compared to the other one. The other ones are great and I haven't had a problem with them. And you know, the other thing with them coming out with a waterproof bag, um, really, my other ones, I never had a problem with getting water inside them, but we'll do the full test for you guys. We'll show you kind of what's going on here. But yeah, I'm really liking this new style too. Like the black, kind of like metallic, looks really good. Okay, so we've got the uh, manual and everything cracked right open. So it says to put a little bit of this. It says it will stain the material if you put too much. So you just want to put a little dab kind of right on the zipper there, like it shows, and then work your zipper back and forth to really work it into the zipper itself. And then uh, pretty straightforward instructions here. We're gonna kind of go through it, but yeah, you basically just take off the torques and then put them through these holes, which this grommet also feels actually a lot better than the other ones, which is really cool. Like, I think these are gonna be a great product. You don't have the removable uh, pad anymore, but it doesn't matter because they are waterproof. So you're not gonna get water in this pad. And that's a nice pad there, I like that. So these zippers are airtight as well as watertight, plus you have this so you don't get mud in your zipper, which is awesome. I'm all about these. Also a nice patch logo on there. Really good quality bag here. This is like next level. Alrighty guys, so what you're gonna need is a T25 here. I've got just on a, like a screwdriver attachment because you really don't need a ratchet for this, but if a ratchet's your only option, then that works as well. Uh, since I already have these other door bags removed, it'll be the exact same if you don't have any door bags. You just uh, take these torques out of here and then pretty much replace them and put the new bag on. Alrighty, so then you just have that Velcro, pull it right off. I see the Velcro came off with the bag. But uh, that's really no worries. Yeah, this is those other door bags after, I don't know, uh, about five or six uses, still looks new. Like you can see the mud just comes in here a little bit, a little bit of dust, but really that's not bad for 
how much mud this machine's been through so far. So there's the old one and there's the door of the razor. So we're going to go ahead and put the new one on now. With the integrity of these, like this material, see like it barely bends. Whereas like the old one here, just flimsier, right? Like there's nothing wrong with it. But uh, this, I don't, I wouldn't even put the Velcro on. Like that really isn't gonna do a whole lot for you. But that looks incredible on there. I like that fit, perfect fit. These, all the holes lined up perfectly. Didn't have to stretch the bag or anything to get them to fit on. It was just a nice, clean, easy fit. And that's your finished product. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So I may have been wrong. These grommets almost look identical. But uh, anyway, you can see kind of the difference in the two door bags. These being my personal favorite now. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this quick. Um, this lube on the zipper is pretty self-explanatory. I'll probably just do that. Uh, outside of the video, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try and do a water test on these two quick Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna put my life proof case uh, From my phone in this one I'll zip it up and then I'm just gonna spray them I'll spray them equally, but this one doesn't claim that it's waterproof so Alrighty, so we've got our two door bags here. As you can see, this one's like hydrophobic. The water just sort of sits on it, whereas you can tell with this one that uh, my case is probably soaked in here, actually. <laughs> yeah, like that's wet. Okay. So we're gonna crack this one open here. See what we got. Okay. And yeah, it's soaked. But not like completely in there. Just a few water droplets, honestly. This side of the bag is wet. This one's not. So yeah, actually, you know, you will get water in there. I've just never been in deep enough water. So there's your answer. She's wet. Now, we open up this one. Let me take a little bit more. Completely dry in there. Yep. So these are completely washed. Yeah, it turned out perfect. Like this will dry out so fast. You'll have no problems with it. So yeah, if you're actually into the mud and everything, definitely check these out. It's your better option. Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to basically wrap this video up. Uh, I'm really impressed with these door bags. They're probably my favorite one. I've had all three styles now for this door style. And these have to be my favorite. I love that they're waterproof. Uh, I love the material they're made out of. It looks really good. Just all black, red stitch, very clean. Uh, yeah, the knee pad's super comfortable. I'm taller at about 6'4", so my knee definitely needs that. Really good storage options like phone in there, everything. Keep everything dry all day. Yeah, it's basically your perfect option for your stuff that you're gonna need really quick and be taken in and out of the pocket. So yeah, I'd definitely recommend checking out a set of these if you're in the market or one of the other ones too. If you're not gonna be riding in water, really the other ones will be fine as well. Um, it honestly might just come down to look. Uh, these look really sleek. Maybe you want the more red, like the last style or the gray, like the previous, like the first style. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it's a pretty thorough review. Gives you a good idea of if you wanna check these out or not. Thanks for checking out the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.